So I was just having a chat with Carter, first top 10 in a National Road Series race last weekend, finished six, and he said he's changed something, something that helped him get his top 10. Carter, what was that? So I'm at Amara Cycles Cafe again, and today we're meeting with an up-and-comer in the Australian road cycling scene. He was recently published in Bicycling Australia magazine, and in that magazine they said this guy could be a household name in years to come. His name's Carter Turnbull, he's currently the Oceana Road Race Under-19 Champion. Earlier this year in the Under-19 Australian Men's National Titles, he came third, and he's currently preparing to tackle the world, wearing Australian colours in a few weeks' time. This video I wanted to share with you who Carter Turnbull is, how he blends in all this road cycling with doing year 12, and also he's a pretty good road cyclist, so I think he's got some good tips and insights he can share, not only from a training perspective, but also race tactics. Here he comes now. How are you, mate? Good, thanks, how are you? <laughs> not too bad. Now, you're right to go for a little ride? Yeah. Yeah? Looking forward to it. Now, I know we both have the same coach, David Sturt, from the Hurt Box, but you know I'm not as good a cyclist as you, so can we go for a cruise today, or? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So just having a chat with Carter, first top 10 in a National Road Series race last weekend, finished six, and he said he's changed something, something that helped him get his top 10. Carter, what was that? Just the mentality of racing, riding in the bunch, just make sure I didn't get pushed around, stay up the front, saving energy, and that way you can actually do the power you can in a race winning situation rather than trying to catch back on after someone drops a wheel in front of you. Yeah right, so just mentality, you don't really care what's going on around you. Yeah. You just focus on your own race. Simple as that. So mate, before we get going, can you tell me how you fit, you're doing year 12, is that right? Yeah, that's how, great. How do you fit school and riding in the National Road Series and Oceanas and preparing for Worlds, how do you fit it all in? Um, so I'm quite lucky. Having done two year 12 subjects last year, I've only got four. So, so I have. You weren't wagging school today then? To come no. To me. Okay, that... <laughs> no, so I've got quite a good timetable. I have a full day on Mondays, but they're normally rest or recovery, so it's not too bad. Tuesday, I have a first and last period, so I can actually go home in the middle and do my training. And then Wednesdays, I finish at 11, so I can fit in a four hour ride or something like that, yeah, okay. which is quite good. Thursdays is the same as Tuesday, and then Fridays I finish at 10, so I can do a few hours then as well. And you work with uh, Steggles, David Sturt from the Hurt Box? Yep, he writes a program, so. Um, I haven't had too much of an issue. Okay. So, obviously the training's been good, but it's sort of been just at that level where it's not too fatiguing, so I can keep going, so I haven't had an issue with it. So, when I started riding, started riding with the Companeros once they started. So who are the Companeros? That was started by Paul Parlevit and just his son Callum, who's on Inform now, okay. a few friends of his and that sort of things. So like a junior developer? Yeah, team. just set up a team for yeah. a bit of fun, mates to ride around. And just with riding, met Cam McKim and the Inform guys and sort of joined for net last year yeah, was. Okay. You must have had a few results though in order to get picked up? Um, not me particularly, it was mainly the older guys, so oh. I sort of just got pushed along, which is quite nice. You must have and shown some potential though in some of the races? Yeah, I think everyone was sort of holding their weight to a certain extent, so they weren't taking anyone who they didn't want on the team, yeah. which worked well. And then with that, I started off last year, some good form, good results on my belt, and then ended up riding for 
in form to nearly halfway through the year doing NRS, yeah. the first year 19, yeah. and continue that through to this year. So how, you, how did you find your first um, half a year in the National Road Series? Yeah, it was good fun, good experience. There's the biggest bunch I've ever ridden, close roads, done a few races like that, but not with a bunch that's actually taking up the whole road. Yeah. So that was, there's a lot of learning and yeah, trying to find my way in those races, in the fields and well, this obviously the strength has come up, ability in riding, but the biggest change is just how you ride it, being at the front, making sure that you're where you need to be and if you're good enough, the other riders sort of get to know that and they know you're not going to stuff up, not going to drop the wheel, so they're more inclined to give you the wheel you want and that sort of thing, so it makes it easier once you sort of get established at the level, yeah, I okay. found yeah. recently, so. And that sh and gives you more confidence? Yeah, and, and then. You recently had a top 10, didn't you? Yeah, and once you start getting results, you get more confidence and you get more and more, so past three races I've done. First one was the best one I've had there, then topped it the following race, and then I've topped it again, so I really enjoy it. Everyone's committed to the team plan and whatever our goal is that day, everyone's happy to put give their part and help out. So the selection events this year was just the national championships and Oceania championships. Yeah. And I ran fourth in both the time trials, third in the national road race, and I won the Oceania road race, which that was actually the last event of all four of them. Yeah, okay. And just, can you, and just before you keep going, can you explain the difference between the, the nationals and the Oceanas, like the road race? What's, what's the difference there? So nationals is just Australian riders and obviously the winner is national champ for the year. So that's sort of quite a good one to win, obviously. It's yeah. a nice title. And then Oceania is, is normally just Australia and New Zealand. I can't actually tell you what other countries are involved, but... Maybe Fiji and something like that. Yeah, there's always a couple in the elite. Yeah. So... Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's... So that's a bit more prestigious? Um, I don't... I wouldn't say so. Okay. Definitely not in the elite. The pros don't normally turn out for it. Okay. Sometimes you get a few, not as many as the nationals. Also, the timing, it's during the European season, so... They don't normally come back to Australia for one race. Yeah. Under 19s, it's probably pretty similar, I'd say. Yeah. You do have more riders, so you could argue it's a harder race to win, yeah. but then again, that's, it's pretty even, I'd say. Yeah, okay. So, and by winning, that, did that give you your ticket to the Worlds, or did coming third at Nationals give you your ticket, or a bit of, a bit of both? Um, it would be a bit of both. Okay. I didn't see the criteria before Oceania, it actually said you had to have a win in one of those events. So had I not won that race, in theory, I wouldn't have been selected. So there's actually a fair bit of pressure to win that. So I wanted, I I wanted the selection. Yeah. So I don't know if it helped out not knowing that I had to win. Yeah. Um, but, you did. but yeah, I guess first and third, I take three people, it's hard to get turned down after that. So it actually works quite well because every two weeks there's another NRS race right up until Worlds. Right. So side off with Battle on the Border, race that. Two weeks later, had a tour of the Great South Coast. Two weeks later, tour of King Valley, which was last weekend. Yeah. And next it's weekend. Nice and dirty there. Yeah. yeah. All those conditions like to ride in the gravel. Um, I, I enjoy that sort of stuff. So it was right. meant to actually be dry right. for the gravel and yeah. about five minutes out and Rain starts coming down and the first section was quite slippery. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a, not the best day to wear white socks, but... <laughs> or a white kit. <laughs> yeah. Got some good photos we'll put up. Yeah, it was um, good race. So, and so you've got tra yeah, NRS every couple of weeks, so what sort of training are you doing in between all that? So, I'm using those events a lot for the high intensity work, yeah. which is working quite well. And then, so I only have to fit in one or two sections each week in between. Yeah. Um, and the rest is just recovery, so it's... What do those one or two sessions look like? You're doing sort of base or you're doing... Um, either in the Danny Nongs, doing either riding up climbs at threshold with high intensity for a couple of minutes at the top or one or two minutes on, five off, that sort of thing. 
or the odd ergos in there as well, which is never fun, but yeah, yeah. Um, I feel good once they're completed. Yeah, what sort of ergo sessions do you do? Like, are they, how long do they go for? Um, anywhere about an hour and a half, so anywhere from an hour to two hours, really. Right, but high intensity? Yeah. So, so what does yeah, that look normally. like? Can you give us an example of a high intensity ergo? Um, one of Celsius' favourites, calls it the two person break. Okay. It's one minute on, one minute off, times nine. There's three sets of that. Right, and how much so, do you have in between each set? Like how there's rep? four minutes between each set. So oh. if you count in the one minute off at the end, sort of five minutes, but yeah, nice by the time so. yeah, by the time <laughs> you get to the third set, you're like, geez, still nine minutes to go, that's a long time. But, yeah. Um, so I don't have much of a sprint on me, so I have to go off the front at some point to get a win because I won't win a bunch kick. Yeah. If I ride it well like I did Oceania, so I can win a reduced bunch sprint. That was out of two people, but I wouldn't. I come to the finish with someone, I'm not counting myself out, but definitely want to get rid of the real fast guys. So, yeah, need to attack at some point. Well, what does a world's course look like? How long does it go for? And... So, it's 132k, I think. Yeah, so, it's yeah. uh, with a bit over 2,000 metres climbing, right. so quite hilly. Yeah. And then, once we're on the circuits, there's another climb, 8k, 8%. We do that twice. Yeah. So yeah, there's a few climbs. Does that suit you? That, that sort of course? I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm definitely better going uphill than anything else. So yeah, okay. next year I'd like to just progress a bit further, similar to what I've done this year. So it'll be first year twenty three, so won't be expecting the age group race results that I've got this year. But in the NRS and those races, looking try improve on what I've already done and see where that leads to the future years hopefully eventually into the world tour ranks and so Carter's got a little bit more training to do he's off for a ride mate how do you find the um these cars to as I said every time I pull out the camera there's buses and cars now there's a human walking past how do you find the um the S-Works tarmac to ride ah it's a nice bike just Put down power and just wants to go, so doesn't hold you back. Good up hills and on the flat, so. Thanks for your time, really appreciate it. Good luck, we're rooting for you in a few weeks time. And uh, look forward to seeing what happens. Sure, thank Have you. Later, mate. See ya. See ya. So just a small question for those who have stuck around at the end of the video. I want to do more of these style videos. I want to call the series Let's Go For A Ride, where I go for a ride with cycling personalities and people like Carter, and let's have a chat. Have a coffee at Omara's, and they share some insights about road cycling, things that you might find insightful. So if you're up for that, let me know in the comments section below, and I'll catch you in the next video.